All right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Charles for Cherokee Productions, and this demonstration, what I'm about to explain with the Universal Audio Apollo Twin, how we can use uh, A to D converters and D to A converters, and also if you don't want to use the A to D converter in the Apollo Twin and you don't want to use its preamps, you can also use external preamps as well as A to D conversion, which is analog to digital conversion. So first I would like to start out with the A to D. And let's say for example, um, if I don't want to use this Apollo Twins um, mic inputs, which is it's A to D, analog to digital. If I don't want to use those, and I want to use something different or different mic preamps, and let's say, let's go with this here lunchbox, API lunchbox, and I'm going to turn this around. So let's see if we can get a little clear on here. All right. So if I wanted to use this preamp, which is made by Great River, I want to use this preamp instead of using the, the preamps that came stock in uh, the Apollo Twin. And keep in mind and remember that this Apollo Twin has been modified by Black Lion Audio as well. So now we got some upscale A to D D to A conversion going on compared to the stock twins that were given. So here we got mic preamp. Uh, it's kind of got this uh, is a uh, made by Neve. I'm sorry, correction, made by Great River. And it has that Nevish style uh, character in the preamp. Next, we have a Buzz Audio compressor. And this kind of gives you that 1176 style compression, this FET, FET compression or FET compressor. And here, the third one, we have a EQ. And that's made by. Um, uh, this company called s and m audio and i don't know if they still make these eqs or not but the pretty good eqs kind of remind me, remind you of the sound of the um trident console so it give you that that little sound there okay so what if i don't want to use like i say the stock preamps in the apollo twin and instead i want to use my lunchbox <clears throat> And I have a signal chain here. You know, if I want to use a little compression going in, is everything's pretty much in line. Um, uh, the mic pre, and then it'll go into the compressor. And if I want to have some EQ or so, I can actually put that in the signal chain. Uh, well, just, we just want to focus on the preamp. I just want to use the preamp, this external preamp. So I'm going to go out of. The lunch box. I'm going to sit this up right, and I have it labeled here. So I'm going out of the lunch box on the. Let's make that correction. Actually, that's supposed to be. <laughs> it's actually supposed to be the output of the Great River. So actually, I have a. Um, you, since I can't put um, mail to mail. I would have an extension or an adapter, and it would actually be a male to female. So I will put that male female here, and this will be going out of the Great River. So you get the idea of what I'm saying. And it'll go into the input one of this Black Lion Audio um, A to D converter, which is here. Okay, let me explain this. This is an analog digital converter has two inputs and have conversion rate up to 40, uh, 44 to 96 um, correction, 44 to 192. Um, and you have your parameters here where you do your selection depending on what selection you, that you want to choose uh, at a sample rate that you want to record. And you also, you know, you have to match these sample rates up into the DAW that's in your computer and to get them in sync and talk to each other. So we're coming out that mic preamp, 
into the A to D converter, right? All right, so I can't just go, if you look on the back here of this A to D converter here, the speed of out, and but it's a B and C cable, okay? And it's going, it's B and C to RCA or the RCA style. This thing here, what we have here is a um, converter, coaxial optical converter. And what it does, it allows me to get the right bridging that I need to go forth with um, the Apollo twin. So if you look here, now I'm coming out of the A of this A to D converter out, digital to out, and I want to go in here and I want to convert this into an optical toss link um, interface, right? So we're going inside of this box and then we're going to go back out of this box via the toss link cable, digital toss link cable. ADAC cable or some call optical toss link cable. And we're going from there, let's follow this line here, into the Apollo Twin. I'm going to take this out. Optical input. All right, so plug that back in. So now we're able to get in the Apollo Twin with an external mic preamp. And you can have other compressors and EQs in your signal chain as well. Just follow your signal chain. So what you have to do inside of the Apollo, 10, Apollo Twin software is you would have to set it uh, to the speed of setting in the Apollo Twin console software and make sure you match the sample rate according to the sample rate that you have to this Black Lion Audio A to D converter. So it's a simple little setup. You, um, then this only if you have, depend on, it depends on what you want to do. Like I say, you want to use different preamps and this is the way to get in one way to get into the Apollo twin this way so, since you're limited with different digital inputs and outputs and I found that this would work really good all right so what if I want again to use a digital analog a um, let's say it's called a DAC digital analog conversion so now we're going going from the uh, digital side and we want to convert it back to analog which this will use here and on the outputs will go to your monitors your studio monitors left right okay all right so this is the MyTech uh, D to A converter in my earlier video I spoke about this device if you don't want to use the Apollo twins output or D to A conversion here. So if I want to bypass that, in order to do that, you, you would have to have this modified, uh, which the company did this, uh, Black Lion Audio modified this. And let's go turn it around to the back. We'll see here a digital output, optical out, which they put this in here. This did not come stock. And with the Apollo Twin, so when I got this modified, this was a premium modification and it was um, included into the package. So I'm going to plug this mini jack in and I want to use the output to go and route it to the input of the TOS link input of the MyTech, which is this right here, okay? So we plug that in. So now, and I'll have my left and right um, plug uh, cabling going to the left and right uh, female inputs, XLR inputs on the uh, studio, on the amp of the uh, monitors, which is these right here. And this will hear the sound of this, this the conversion will come out of this, okay? And always you match what you're using. Of course, it would be Toslink. I would set it to Toslink because you're using this digital uh, interface here. And this is my volume control, and I can control 
how much volume I want, or I can use headphones if I choose, and this is my metering to see where I'm at. Okay? So, um, this is just, um, you know, you're probably saying, why would I want to do that? Well, again, if you want to use different preamps with your Apollo Twin, you can you can do that instead of using the stock preamps or using the unison technology that they have you can use the, the plug-in knees or whatever which they are great but again if you want to use other things that's just saying you're just adding more color to your catalog you know it, more character you want more toys and bells and whistles to play around with to give you certain different sounds and you have the opportunity to do that just a few steps that you have to go with. Uh, the converter box come really good, well with it. Works really well with this uh, to change my convert my uh, cabling to the correct cabling that I need to fit the application that needs to uh, be looked at or well what I'm trying to achieve. So again, if you want to, don't want to use the DDA converters out of the Apollo Twin. Of course, you could use external DACs or D to A converters, and this will allow this feature of the output of the Black Lion. Uh, sorry, the Universal Audio's Black Lion audio modification um, optical output and in going into different. Uh, digital analog converters so I just thought I just wanted to put that out to show you another way of doing things in your studio your home studio or whatever or using some of the gear that you have and you can make full use of it just giving you a different idea how to get things in your signal chain and make it work for what you're trying to do or depending on what application you're trying to use it or make happen so that being said, please subscribe and leave any comments and thank you for watching this video and have a good day or should I say a good morning, a good afternoon and a good evening. Shalom.